Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back here with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire V5, also known as a V5-4072P, 472P-6470. model. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can speed up the laptop and what are the upgrades that you can do uh, regarding the hard drives. They do have an iCore 3 CPU, which are really fast CPUs for their uh, generation. But there's a bottleneck in this laptops, which is the mechanical hard drive that they include in there. This one comes with a one terabyte, 100 gigabyte, 1000 gigabyte, which is one terabyte uh, mechanical hard drive. But the mechanical hard drives are really slow for this type of processors. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see if you can put an SSD drive, what type of SSD drive you can put and what are the good combinations that you can have in here. Just for disclosure, once you do this any hard drive upgrade or solid state drive upgrade, you will not have any operating system in the new drives. So pretty much you have to back up your files before you do anything, back up to an external hard drive and then you can upgrade the new drive in there and once you upgrade it to install the windows, I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. And also I made a video how to install it the proper way. You can check those links in my video description if you need want to freshly install your Windows, which I recommend you highly. All right, with all those set, let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop and back up your files, obviously. Now, on the bottom cover here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna start removing all the screws. The tool that I use for the screwdriver set is the iFixit screwdriver set which is one of the best tools out there, the screwdrivers out there. These are S2 class steel, they will last you many years. They're really hard and steel. If you get the Pro set, you will get the opening tools and tweezers, few other stuff. If not, get the simple set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So with this on hand, we're gonna start looking at the bottom of the laptop. You see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna start removing all the screws and we're gonna keep them in one pile because all the screws are the same size and height. So you can't uh, mismatch them. You, can't, you don't have to worry about it. So just keep them in one pile. They all go, they are the same. All right, so you start from one corner. Make sure you remove all, don't miss any. If you want, you can put a little magnet beside the screw or magnetize it if you want to. And it's to go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, if you like my videos and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous support and for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. I'll greatly appreciate it. All right, once we remove all the screws, now what you want to do, you want to open, grab your opening tool, which in this case I'm going to grab my guitar pick. And we're going to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And we're just going to flip it open and you're going to see that opening. You should hear a few clicks, those are the clips that are getting loose. Don't worry, you want to do the same thing on the sides. Open it up all the way to the back corner, left and right side. Once you did the left and right side, but mind the left side is coming up. The case should come up pretty easy. You might have to lift it up a little bit, push it towards the back side, towards the I.O. side. So you can release this one. So lift it from the front, push it towards the back a little bit. That's the bottom copy. And bottom, this is the bottom cover. All right, down here we're going to see the motherboard and we're going to see right away the mechanical hard drive. In here, and right away I see a, there's a little M.2 slot right here. But this is a little short, so this is an M.2... Uh, M SATA hard drives you can put here, SSD drives. These are the small ones. You can get the one gig or one terabyte or 500 gigabyte of these ones. The M.2 M SATA, these are the same speed as on regular SSD drives. To install this one in here, you can bring it down, make sure the notch on the SSD matches the notch right on the DIMM. You wanna bring it down in 10, 15 degrees and you wanna push it towards the DIMM and it should stay like this. And now you wanna push it towards the motherboard and you should put one tiny screw in here. They don't provide you with any screw. I'll leave the link where you can buy these screws. These are really cheap screws. So I'll suggest you guys to put an M SATA 500 gigabyte right over here and keep your 
uh, one terabyte, or you can upgrade this one to a two terabyte mechanical drives to keep your big files, games, everything in here. But if you want, you can either still upgrade this one or to an SSD drive. So you have an SSD on the main windows and a storage as an SSD. So the file transfer between them is going to be really fast. To remove this, to remove this one, just pull it out in 10 degrees. To remove this one, also you can just have to pull this flap thing here upward towards the ceiling and the connector will get loose. And to remove it, there's no screws or anything. You just have to lift up the hard drive from the cover here. There's a little lot of rubbers and hold it in place. Again, to do this, you do not need to remove the battery at all. But for those people that want to be paranoid, they want to remove the battery, you have to pull these two jacks, this cable backward. This is really soft. Just pull it backward straight and the battery will get disconnected. But you do not need to do this if you want to do an upgrade. Just going to put it back in there. Now this is a Toshiba one terab. Actually, this is an. They have the downgraded this one to a 320 gig. So it says one terabyte, but it's 320 gig. Pretty much you can detach the adapter. Don't pull on the cable. Just pull the adapter out. You grab your SSD drive. Make sure the connector that only goes in one way. Put it in there. And slide it right in here in the groove. You have to match it right in there, and you want to grab the connector, align it right over the jack, just like that, and you want to push it towards the motherboard, and it will lock in. To pull out, same thing, and don't pull the cable upward, grab it from the back and pull it out. So you don't want to stress the cable. Remove, grab your two terabyte hard drive if you want. In this case, I'm just Putting back the same one, bring it down, put the back side down inside the cover here, step straight down, grab the connector, align it, push it towards the motherboard. And that's how easy it is. If you have disconnected the battery, put the battery back in the connector, grab the bottom cover, put it on top. And when you install the windows, make sure you install the windows on the M.2 SATA drive not on the mechanical one or uh, SSD on the big one. All right, once you put the cover on, the last thing is very easy. Just grab the bottom cover screws, put them all over the place in here. You should finish all of the screws in here. And that should be all. If you guys have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe to support the channel. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws. I'm just going to cut it out.